Hello, I'm Dan Keegan, director of the Milwaukee Art Museum. Welcome to Andy Warhol, The Last Decade. So what's surprising about Warhol in his last decade is the degree to which he was willing to experiment. Like many artists, Andy Warhol returned to the self-portrait theme throughout his career, starting as early as the 1950s and 1960s. Of course, he always worked photographically. Photography film is at the core of Warhol's work. And so in the series of self-portraits done in the 1980s called his Frightwig series, we see Warhol at his most revealing. We know that Warhol was a collaborator throughout his career, his work in his factory, with lots of studio assistants helping him produce work. But in the 1980s, for the first time, he partnered with other artists to produce work. So what does it all mean, Andy Warhol's last decade? Maybe it's the reason why he picked a Rorschach as an image one that can be interpreted in many different ways, ultimately subjective. When it is all put together, it is a summation of Warhol's career over decades of working, yet in that last decade, a period which is rich in ideas, in risk-taking, which identify an artist who, at the end of the day, stands as one of the icons of contemporary art.